Southampton, we're driving. It's a beautiful rainy day. <laughs> so we're going to head to Stonehenge, see if we can take a few pics and then go to Winchester Castle and then to the airport. We're in the gift shop. Maybe I'll get myself a souvenir here. See what they got. So we are here at Stonehenge. You see shy girls walking. But because I can walk super fast, guys, I am going to walk ahead so we could get. That's what they said. You just said the lady said 20. You said the lady said 20. I'm faster. All right. I'm gonna walk way ahead. You guys are gonna have to learn to like walk fast. So, you see the fields, guys? All right? Looks like cows up there. So we're here at Stonehenge. See all the fields, right? I'm gonna walk ahead big time. So Shy Girl is already here, right? I walk very fast and I wouldn't mind jogging. They're not gonna be able to keep up. I know I could. So I'm gonna jog ahead a little bit, guys. And try to get there quicker. It's literally a 30 minute, 20 minute walk. All right, so plan B, we are not walking. There's no way they can handle the walk, guys. So we're going back to the visitor center here. And maybe we'll have- miss your flight. No. And um, I need to get back home. Right. I got business to attend. Yeah, I mean, I got my kids here. Yeah, you want to stay in London? No, I don't. So, 
Look, shy girl's so cold, she's wearing a hoodie. It's not cold. What's wrong with her? So this is a map of like the Stonehead, Stonehedge. All right. And this is all the different. Uh, There's no other roads gonna bring us there. So this is like a whole map and layout of what uh, all the different things to see or do here. Stonehedge. So Stonehedge is the most popular, guys. And this is just like a layout. This is a big map of the actual different things you could see. Unfortunately, we're pressed for time, and there's no way we can even attempt to even go see all this. This is like a maybe okay, a so day thing. All right, you can see the map. The blue. So the weather's changing a little bit. It's getting kind of windy and cold now. So now technically it is getting kind of cold. And the sun was just peeking out not too long ago. All of a sudden, all these uh, clouds are rolling in. You know, like rain clouds, too. So, we're heading back to the car. I don't know if we'll have time to go down the road. We'll just take pictures of Stonehenge from a distance. But we will see what happens. If not, we gotta start heading towards Windsor Castle because we um, booked a little thing to go there real quick. And this is the Airman's Cross here. Cross. It's hard to make out because everything's got like, uh, what do you call that, like uh, moss on it or whatever. So, heading back to the car, guys, and stay tuned. Maybe we might get to take a glimpse of Stonehenge. So, we are driving away from Stonehenge. So, we will see if we can see something. So, Seema, how was Stonehenge? <laughs> Where was that? It was very nice. You saw a bunch of rocks, right? Yes. This car looks like. Guys, we are here. I want to say this is the Windsor Castle. So I'm showing you guys. This is like the side. Good morning from London. Good morning, guys. So you're in town where I'm guessing this is the Windsor Castle that next goes on our left. Yes. Um, so Stand right there, baby. All these shops. Watch me smile. Shops and stuff where you can buy souvenirs, food, uh -huh. all kinds of Beautiful. Things. Oh, and the airport is nearby. I hear the planes. Yeah. So we're like walking. Kings and Queens gift shop. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. And we don't have no tour guide. We're on our own. So, freestyle, guys. we're doing a freestyle. Oh, beautiful. Morning. Morning. Visitors. We're not with the tour, guys. Come on. Beautiful. Welcome to my home, guys. Make yourself at home. So it's raining a little bit now. Sprinkle like Actually, you fall down. I see, I see. Well, you're trying to videotape now. To videotape the so we're walking along. We've got a few souvenirs. We're going to get some. Uh, Something some to eat. eat. Yeah. And we're going to head to the airport. And then head to the airport. Unfortunately, we don't have time to hang out. Beautiful lots of shops. Lovely. Right Shy girl's cold. I try not to get wet. Just cover up that she hoodie. We're walking along looking for something to eat. Right, maybe stop by the next souvenir shop. That's what you want? No, I'm just watching. Some nice looking Asian food. So we're walking along. Definitely not hitting no McDonald's. No way, Jose. Is that definitely not hitting McDonald's? Like today. No one eats that stuff anymore, anyways. So, guys, we're at a buffet place and we're gonna grab some food here before we head back to the airport. So, I believe the place is called Brown Rice Authentic Thai. So check out some of the food. Did we get sodas too? I think we had sodas too. Do we get um, water or soda too? Or pay for it? Yeah. Do you get water or soda too or you pay for it? Free. Okay. Take the soda. Yeah, just now. I'm filming you showing a different food. We have samosa vegetables, pad thai noodles, turmeric rice. Chips, which is also known as fries, corn crackers, chicken on toast, spring rolls, masala curry vegetables, sweet and sour chicken, green beans. It says sweet and sour chicken. They have prawn crackers, some jasmine rice. Chicken coconut soup. That sounds good. Minced beef spicy with chicken wings. You have spicy noodles, green curry, masala curry, and Singapore noodles. Alright guys, we're gonna get some food here and uh, stay tuned for results. Wings are good. Mm -hmm. What's good? We're eating Chinese in London because it's the quickest thing we can grab. Really wanted the fish and chips, but it's like a sweet chili uh, wings. Really nice. good at it. So why don't you get some broccoli, some some kind of chicken? I already killed the rice. Already killed the spring rolls. Looks good. Okay, so we got to get going to the airport. So see you see guys. You guys soon. Okay, guys, we are in the airport waiting to board. So we are going to take this big monster here. This will be our plane back to Miami. It's gonna look like this guy. So we have like the double deckers. See the two sets of windows there. So we'll be on the top floor and then you have a whole nother bottom floor where there's other um, passengers that sit. Same amount of rows. I believe it's like 80 or 90 something rows. 
and each row has, I want to say four, I think eight seats. So it fits about like 400 something passengers, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So that's a lot with the crew, who knows, maybe close to 500. So as you can see, they have the two different, um, one for the top and one for the bottom rows when they load the uh, passengers. So pretty neat. All right, we're gonna sit here and wait. Should be leaving soon on our way back to the good old USA. See you guys soon. So we're on the plane and we are on British Airways. So we're getting ready to take off hopefully soon. There's already like 15 minute delay from what they say, but we know it's gonna be a half hour, 45 minutes. Yes, and complete last, rubbish. Last time we took uh, them to come here to London, there was an hour delay. Mm -hmm. So they know nothing about being on time. Sounds like somebody. <laughs> Who? Nobody. I'm so, always on time. Not you. Oh. Anyways, uh, so we're gonna show you guys possibly the taking off and uh, I don't know, maybe the landing. Maybe and me food. snoring down this rubbish yeah, plane. We'll see. I don't think there's gonna be much video on of like eating and stuff because we're probably gonna be sleeping and stuff like that. So very tired. So we'll see you guys possibly in Miami when we come back. So